Hi, this is Yvonne Pran from Effective Church Communications, and I want to share with you some free image sources for church communicators. Now, I have links to quite a few of them on the website, www.effectivechurchcom.com, but here are some that I don't have listed as yet. First of all, www.freebibleimages.org. It is an absolutely extraordinary collection of photos and illustrations. It is the only site, though, that I will be listing that you cannot use for commercial purposes. You can only use them for ministry and education. So now let's jump to the site and let me show it to you. Here we are on the free Bible images site and you I would encourage you to just sort of look at over here you can uh, hear this is their search box you can find your story what they mean by that is just type in any this is completely a Christian site type in any book of the Bible any Bible character any Bible story and it will bring up all the images here you can choose which set to download whether it's PowerPoint PDF keynote JPEG the terms of use, basically what this says is you can only use the things for ministry purposes. No commercial use is allowed. And so it's pretty much just something for you to use in your church, but it is absolutely wonderful. And I, I really can't encourage you enough to use it and in the story planner. Now let me show you here some of the ones that they just recently updated. I'm doing this just before Christmas though, so let me just go ahead and type in Christmas and here you can see they have 34 sets and they have a real variety of sets they have different illustrators you can see one illustrator here another one here another one here and then they also have licensed the extraordinary images from the Lumo project um, these are the really wonderful videos that were all shot in the Middle East with uh, Middle Eastern movie stars they're they're just they're so good I can't say enough good about them and they're wonderful to illustrate Bible stories and things like that something else I'm just going to jump back to the ones with that are in the more illustration format. Here are some of the ones uh, for kids. Now one of the things that I realized when I was working with the children's ministry a year or so ago in my church is, you know, and this is like a no-brainer, uh, kids love images. And you know what you can do with this that is really super neat is you can take these, you can put together a PowerPoint presentation and they just have the different images and then you can add your own, you can tell the story, but what I would encourage you to do is to project them on a full wall with your computer, with a projector, with anything like that. You can blow them up really big, you know, 12 feet high, whatever. Yeah, the resolution isn't going to be the greatest, but kids don't care about that. But something like that really uh, grabs kids' attention, and you can stand next to it and be clicking through the images and telling them the story. So I'm just going to go back. So here again you have just a whole variety of things that that you can do with this and the reason that they don't have any words with them this is distributed all over the world and people can then add their own words um, in whatever language and, and use them in whatever they want to but it's just it's an absolutely marvelous site and I really can't recommend it enough. I'm going to have on the website a link to something that I did with uh, the prodigal son using their images but freebibleimages.org check it out once you start using it I think you'll continue to use it because it's just absolutely fantastic Next, burst.shopify.com. Now, this is really kind of a different site. It was made for people doing e-commerce, but let me show it to you. Okay, here we are on Burst, and it's just, it's really kind of neat. They have, again, it was made for uh, commerce, and so they do have a number of things that are related to commerce, but one of the things you can see 
as we hover over an image, you can download both high resolution and low resolution, which is really handy because sometimes you just want low resolution for your website or whatever. You don't want it to take up a lot of space, but you might want something that's high resolution for perhaps a publication, whatever. Now, one of my favorite things, I had this out here, they have a whole ton of stuff on coffee. <laughs> I guess that's something that uh, is uh, commercially viable in many areas, but for those of us in the church, there's just all kinds of things on uh, fellowship and joining together and things we can do with coffee. And you could just, I mean, there's just tons of stuff on coffee that I can see using in a church website. And there's actually, there's five screens of this. I think they have almost more things on coffee than anything else, but everything is free to use. Uh, you don't need to attribute it. It's just, this is really, I, I, I smile when I come to this site. I really, really enjoy this site. The next site is uh, www.reshot.com. And <laughs> my note here is you know, really brilliant. Um, you know, I just really like this site. It is just, um, well, let me just show it to you. Here we are at reshot.com. Handpick non-stocky images, yours to use as you wish. And it's just a lot of photographers join in and have posted their images. And you can see they're different. They're just, they don't have the same feel that a lot of the other websites have. Um, just a lot of, particularly if you have a younger church, whatever there's, and again, all of these, you don't need to do any attribution. You can use them commercially, which means for churches that the, the thing that I think that commercial is really important about, particularly if you would decide to use something for a t-shirt that you sold or it just whatever, you, you don't have to have to really worry about it. That's kind of cute. Um, but there's just a lot of very different, unique images. So restock, reshot, excuse me, reshot.com. And then one last one, uh, this is negativespace.co, uh, and all of the images on this are C, uh, Creative Commons Zero license. And what this means, the Creative Commons Zero, this is really the best one ever. You can download any photo from the public domain, and that includes their um, their images. You can use, copy, edit, or share that photo. Use it for per personal or commercial use. And you can do it without purchase, permission, or giving attribution. Now, we always, uh, they say they always encourage attribution of the photograph if possible, but that's not required. And so often in church communications, you really can't do that. Now, if you're doing a newsletter or an ebook or something like that, you might have the space to do it, but it's kind of hard to do attribution in the bulletin. I mean, you know, let's face it. Um, so uh, things that where you just have another supply of images that can be very useful. So let's just jump over to that, that space. And here we are at Negative Space, and they do have ads. I mean, they, they've got to make a living. But again, just some different images. Uh, some of the really popular ones, you tend to see images repeated and repeated and repeated. And there's, it's a little bit different. I always like it when they have the categories. Let's just, for example, let's just look at people. There's 17 pages of them. Again, primarily younger people. Let's look at the categories. Let's see. Let's try just landscapes. Here you have just some really beautiful landscapes that you could use on all sorts of publications. Let's look at perhaps another category. Business is oftentimes useful in many areas now that I can just see some sort of a sermon on it wisely using your money there. But uh, let's just look at a couple other ones that they have under finances, time is money perhaps. Okay, let's try topography. Uh, this can be very useful for um, just all kinds of things. I can see one could do a rather challenging thing on this. Sorry, we're closed. Everything is connected. Entrance, takeout, love is all you need. I love you, craft. Um, let's see what some of the others are. Sorry, we're closed. Again, open 24 hours. You could do a thing, you know, on prayer. Uh, God is open 24 hours. Hope, love, and faith. There's a lot of things that you could do with this particular set of 
images. Actually, I used that one a while back to make a thank you card for church volunteers. So um, just lots of things that you can use. I hope this gives you some additional ideas for resources for church communication. There have been a number of people commenting on some of the online things that I read lately, how you need to take your own pictures and you need to do this or that. Ah, you know, who's got the time? I mean, if you do, that's great. If you have people in your church that can take pictures, that is absolutely wonderful. But a lot of times we just don't have the time to do it. Here we are back at the list and I will have links to them on the Effective Church Communications website. But I hope that these just give you some more ideas and resources and enjoy. For lots more material on church communications, for free templates, tips, encouragement, just go to www.effectivechurchcom.com. I'm Yvonne Pran and I pray that God would give you peace and joy and strength and encouragement as you serve him today in church communications.